Hello YouTube, Jedi Mind 2005 here with the review of the SH Figuarts Common Rider Abyss. Uh, from, despite the way the box looks, the Common Rider Decade show. So, when you look at the box, you'll see that it is um, just like the other Ryuki Riders, as this is, you know, at least from Ryuki's world on Decade. And uh, got Max Rider Abyss, got the, the mirror design, Abyss right there, Decade show logo, Common Rider Abyss in Japanese. Uh, name on the top and size, right? Max Rider Abyss. On the back, we see him. We see Sword Vent, Strike Vent, his belt, his stand, just like the other Ryuki Riders have. Looks like his belt deck. Right? I don't know what you're thinking. You're like, well, wait a minute. What, what's the deal with this guy? Uh, he's not in the Ryuki show, he's in Decade show. Well, uh, when they did Decade, they decided to, uh, go back to the Ryuki designs, which. Every uh, monster, and it was in Ryuki, they did a design for a rider to be partnered with them and then chose the ones they liked. And those became the 13 riders we saw throughout Ryuki's run. Uh, this was an unused concept that they said, hey, let's use this and make a new rider for DK. And you'll remember the Abyss Slasher uh, and Abyss Striker. If I remember correctly, Shark Monsters. I think they were in episode like 19 or something like that of, of Ryuki, somewhere around there. And... Uh, so they said, okay, well, let's take those guys' uh, partnered rider design and make them real, because that is, he is their, they are his contract advent monsters. So, he just like every other Ryuki rider release, he has his cards down there, right? Advent, strike vent, sword vent, final vent. Uh, on the back, you know, here's his deck, I mean, his deck, but the, the uh, stand made to look like his deck, Max Rider Abyss. On it, we see his two strike vents. His two sword vents, him, and then a bevy of hands. So let's get him out. Uh, I like this guy just because it's a shark and it's another blue rider, and I'm partial to all things blue. So here he is, looking like a boss. Alright, so this is one of his strike vents, so let's focus on it. Alright, let's, let's put it in the frame. There we go. So you can see the shark head right here, right? The mouth will open. Right? And it will plug in to a wrist joint. Okay? It's even got a space for where the vent goes, right? So that's one. And then the other one looking like a different shark right here. Uh, again, mouth opening action, huh? And it will plug into the opposite wrist joint. All right, so here's this strike vent. His sword vent, which is probably how we'll pose him, is uh, because I, I love these things. They are like the bone, like the back skeleton, of the spine of the fish. Uh, pretty, pretty neat looking. I like that. Or I guess of the shark rather. No sharks are fish, but anyway, enough of the biology lesson. All right, so let's take a look at uh, our boy Abyss. So here we can see the shark, right? The shark helmet with the vent visor. Pretty neat design. Uh, and then we have the uh, the chest grill, the shoulder pads, right? All the vents, just like our other Ryuki riders. Uh, the blue shoulder armor, blue arm armor, I guess. Uh, the deck, which does come out. All right, there we go. So you can see I slid it out a little bit. I don't want to take it all the way out. But it does come out, uh, you can see the shark on it, on the legs, standard Ryuki Rider legs, painted a little differently, he has a little more blue, a little more color than the other guys, but, uh, you know, uh, and then his belt obviously has the back. So, uh, articulation, uh, head, here's the arms, right, these big shoulders are not hindering anything there, and then his legs, same, pretty, you know, really good. Ryuki Rider legs that we've come to to know from having pretty much all the other riders for that uh, particular show already. So let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and do the strike vent real quick, right? Uh, so let's take his hands off. All right now the blue. This one goes on this hand. Alright, alright, so we have one, alright, 
and then the green goes on the other. Okay. Let's see the green. There we go. Let's make it so the wrist can actually go in. There we go. So here we have his strike vent. Right, looking. I mean, that's pretty boss too. That's pretty cool. Looking real good. I like it. Don't get me wrong. I just am a big sword fanatic. So let's let's focus. There we go. So I really like the sword look. Um, if I weren't gonna go for the swords, this is definitely the way to go. I feel. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, switch out for the swords. So we'll need two sword holding hands. And to take these fish off. Oh, and actually, I should show them this. Well, this this is strike vent, I guess. This is, um, and someone's gonna be like, "Get him on your wrong," because they didn't watch far enough in the video. His um, cards go in there, in the mouth of this one. So that's pretty neat. Whatever. Okay, so now we have sword holding hands. And let's go ahead and, uh, you know. Start getting them ready, and then we're just gonna put one sword in each hand. All right, so all right, one sword. You can already feel the badassery going on as we speak. Yes, that's a real word. And if not, well, then I've just made it up, and I'm fine with that. And now here the other. Here's the other. All right, so all right, he is. He has no qualms about taking you down, right? Because he is the best lawyer on the block because that's how we do these things in, or whatever is, you know, as a weird trial system or something, I don't know. DK was really weird, but it gave us this badass and I can't hate him completely. So here's Abyss. Uh, let's push him a little bit further back. I definitely love this guy. I, I'm perfectly honest. I think he's a fantastic figure. Definitely uh, picked this up. He is oddly enough a retail. I didn't expect that to be him to be retail, but he is. Um, you know, he's in like two episodes of DK, and Nick gets retail release. Go figure. But I'm glad he did. Great figure. Pick it up if you, know, you like DK. You like Ryuki, and you want another rider. You know, similar to them, uh, to fit in with the others. You know. Put him on the shelf with him. I think he'd look great. Uh, put him with your DK guys. However you want to do it. I, I just I really like this figure. I, I can't go on about that enough. He's he's so pretty. Um, so yeah. Until next time, uh, check out the podcast RazzBrandonRambles.com. Bringing you the latest token news and new trades where possible. And as always, thumbs up, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.